You know what, guys? We read your comments. We really do. And in our GTX 950 launch video, many of you commented that you're better off saving for a GTX 970 instead. It's a great video card for around $330, but that's still quite a lot of money for many gamers out there. So in this video, we're gonna answer the age-old question that has plagued mankind for thousands, or at least for about, I don't know, 10 years. <clears throat> Should you save up for a GTX 970 or buy a GTX 950 now and add another one later? So the GTX 950 is a great entry-level gaming graphics card that's efficient enough for most people to upgrade to without having to get a new power supply. Yay! It comes in at around $170, and it's powerful enough to play even AAA titles like Grand Theft Auto V or Metal Gear Solid V smoothly at medium to high settings at 1080p. Now, obviously, it's not as good as a GTX 970, but we know that not everyone can simply, you know, throw down $350 for a graphics card all at once. For some people out there, you might need to spread the money out a bit and upgrade your system down the road. Or, or maybe you're just not that sure about fully committing to PC gaming. After all, $170 is a lot easier to justify than $350 if you don't know if you're gonna use it all the time. So let's go over the pros and cons of going with two GTX 950s in SLI versus a single 970. First, let's look at our test bench. Since the Maxwell architecture is pretty efficient, Anthony decided to go with an ultra quiet setup. The case is a fractal design to find R5 with all the foam inserts installed. Yeah, all the foam. And the noise dampening side panel on the side. Inside, we've got an MSI Z170A gaming M7 motherboard, 16 gigs of HyperX Predator DDR4 memory, an Intel Skylake 6700K Core i7 processor, an Intel 750 series NVMe SSD, and a Noctua NHD 15 CPU cooler. For our video cards, we've got the MSI Twin Frozer GTX 970 and two 950s. These cards have a very effective Twin Frozer cooler, hence the name, that features a zero RPM fan mode so that they're completely silent when under idle and light workloads. Even under full load in games or a stress test like Furmark, they stay very quiet with the side panels closed. They don't run that hot either, peaking at just 62 degrees. The MSI motherboard is partly to thank as well well since it provides an additional slot between the cards for better airflow. Powering everything, we've got Enermax's new Digifan List 550 watt power supply that's rated at 80 plus platinum efficiency. With no fan at all and fully sleeved cables, it's a pretty badass looking little unit. We've seen a lot of people try to build quiet systems while using cheap power supplies with crappy fans on them, so make sure you don't make that same mistake. This one even has digital temperature and power usage monitoring through their software. The software doesn't let you do much, but you can measure those things. So finally, how does gaming performance compare? We ran the cards through 3D Mark's Fire Strike Extreme, Metal Gear Solid V, The Witcher 3, and Grand Theft Auto V to get a sampling of how you might expect these cards to handle different loads. In Fire Strike Extreme, our GTX 970 got a score of around 5370 in the GTX 950s. Well, 5351. Wow, so close! We saw a similar trend in the game benchmarks as well. Both cards maintain 60 FPS minimum at 1080p with all settings maxed in MGS5. In Witcher 3 and GTA 5, the GTX 950s were actually anywhere from 10 to 15 percent faster across an average of three runs each, which just goes to show how effectively SLI scales with the current generation of cards. There was no micro stutter that Anthony could detect, and two 950s don't use that much more power than a single 970. Plus, if you're into making your system just kind of look badass, it's hard to beat two video cards side by side. But you might be asking yourself, well, that sounds great, Linus, but what are the downsides? Well, it's kind of like RAM. If you fill up all your slots now, then it's harder to upgrade your system with other things in the future. It also adds some weight, making your system less portable. And this is something Anthony completely forgot to put in the script, but the GTX 950 only has two gigs of VRAM, which means when you put two of them in, you got four gigs of VRAM, just like the 970. Wrong! You do not 
you effectively have only two gigabytes of VRAM, the amount on one card. So if you want to crank up your textures, or you want to play games like, you know, um, Shadow of Mordor, that inherently use a lot of VRAM, you might want to use a 970 instead. So let us know, what would you do? Would you get a single GTX 970 or a pair of 950s and SLI? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX and you can click here for our Twitters and click here to keep watching if you need more. It's the other way around. Anthony gestured for me. Is it? Oh, it is. Way to go, Anthony.